Hello once again everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install plugins on your FTB Infinity server. However, this is the version for the Linux that some users have been requesting in private messages. So let's begin. So what we do is we connect to our server such as this. We are connected, then we go to the directory in which you want to install FTB Infinity. And then what we are going to need to do is yum install we get, I already have it. So I go to the directory where I want to install my stuff. And now I do this command, I will put the command in the description. Also I'm doing this on CentOS. So now we wait a bit. You are also going to need to do is yum install unzip and yum install zip, zip I believe. I also recommend getting htop. So now what we do is we do unzip such as this. You refresh, and now what we I suggest you do is you select all of this and then you go file permissions and you change this to seven 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 so you don't have any issues. And then what we need to do is of course we need to accept the almighty Eula which most people don't care about but it's still there so set this to true there we go and now what we do is we start it like this start the install process so now I download that now what I suggest you do is you run the normal instance before installing thermos Of course, while we are going to run the original server, we're not going to run it in such as the way I did, but we're going to run it in the screen. While well, most people might agree, screen is no alternative of doing it, deal with it. Uh, so, now we wait a bit, and I'm going to mute my mic for until this is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to refresh the directory and we're going to change the server port because I do believe that I'm already using this port. No, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if this one's open, but who cares. And now what we're going to do is we're going to install Thermos. So we of course go to this page and releases and download the latest release even though it's alpha but we're going to yellow everything. So we download this version. 1614 and the libraries.zip and we upload it to the directory and then what we do since I did tell you to get unzip we do unzip and yeah I think we want to zip and then lips that's that I fucking spelled lips wrong who cares and now what I do usually is I go in here and I do like that and I keep it there forever until the end of times then we remove this here. And then we can basically just delete that. And now of course, since we all know how much I love renaming this it, I'm gonna rename it to that. And now we're gonna move it in here. And now what we do is we're just gonna make a new directory called plugins and add essentials in it since I won't actually be logging into the server I just wanna demonstrate that the plugins are there so now what we're going to do is we're gonna edit the ftp I mean the server start.sh and over here where you can see what starts the server up we're gonna change this to cauldron minus server not sure like so and now what we're going to do is go and then we're going to do is screen minus s infinity dot slash server start dot sh 
and now we wait until the server starts up. Hopefully it will, if it won't then I'm a complete and utter idiot and I should be considered as such. And now it's starting up and once again I will be muting my mic because nobody wants to listen to my annoying voice. Be back. Also, following up this tutorial there will be a tutorial on how to install MTMyAdmin on CentOS aka on Linux. See you then. Also, like I said before, I know I could do it a better way than using screens, but you might bitch at me, but I just prefer to do it this way, okay? Okay, good. I believe the screen is already installed. I'm not completely sure. It should be. It is on CentOS. <sighs> now we just have to wait. And hopefully it doesn't hang itself. Which it shouldn't anyway, but okay. Generating the wall now. This already has plugin metrics in it, which means that we have successfully installed plugins on FTB Infinity Evolved. As you can see, Terminals is showing up. Now, if you do slash, uh, if you do PL, you can see Essentials is installed, and that marks the end of this video. Do subscribe for more tutorials in the future, and of course more dupe videos once I actually find dupes that don't work on my servers, and I fix them on my server and then upload them, but this is still later. Goodbye.